Halo Bu, bensin ya? Uh, um. Good morning. Uh, tough night. Woke up a lot. Actually rained. Um, it was cold as well. Uh, why? Am I doing this again? Uh, my whole body hurts. Uh, All right, so I'm just going to be uh, lazy a bit this morning. I need my tent to dry, so I'm just going to take it easy. I suspect that this place is going to get hot real fast. So if I don't want to burn in the sun, I need to get as much of my gear ready to pack as I can. So, because yeah, that sun is like hitting hard right now. And it's only not even eight o'clock. Still, nice spot. It served its purpose, despite the disturbances in the night. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder though, why am I doing this? Because it's definitely not the most comfortable. Um, I feel pain in my hip every once in a while. It's difficult to squat. It's sometimes difficult to move. I have to say, I miss my girlfriend, I miss my, my daughter. It gets a bit lonely out here. It used to be when you traveled around Indonesia by yourself, people reached out and you met a lot of people. Now I find it a bit different. Maybe maybe it's globalization, you know. They see they see foreigners on, on the phone all the time so what's just another foreigner so some of them do reach out I, can, I have to say I've met some nice people but it seems to be um, a bit more scarcely than before I remember like 20 years ago just driving through Lombok and coming across a wedding ceremony and I was invited to attend the wedding ceremony because they wanted to have the token bule with them the token foreigner with them at their kids you know wedding perhaps in my little world I'm the only one doing this but there's so many people touring the country on motorbike nowadays you know I am not the only one doing this they see people like me go through all the time so it's not really a curiosity anymore anyways coffee's ready ah there you go a bit of shade well it is what it is. You can't stop the world from changing. I guess old geezers like me just have to adapt. And I guess that's what I'm trying to do with this thing. I'm trying to prove to myself that, not that I need to prove anything to myself, but I suppose prove to myself that I can still do something like this. Um, after my accident last year, it, hit me really hard that I wouldn't be able to do the things that I used to do. Uh, it started a few years before that actually. It started um, when I tried to climb Gurung Arjuna with my friend Sly and I really hurt my knees. And that's when I realized that maybe, you know, I might have the mind of a 17, I might have the heart of a 25 year old, but my body is 56 or 57 or 58 now and despite my heart despite my mind uh, you can only go at the speed of the slowest and right now the slowest one is my body so that should be a sign maybe I need to work on that how about morning exercises <sighs> the hell with that have coffee cheers mmm Still, life is grand. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Thank you. And thank you. All right, finish my coffee. I'll get the, the gear packed up and uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, we are ready to go, uh, all packed up. 
took a bit of time, but I wanted to dry all my gear, so that's why uh, I took my time. And now everything is dry, everything is cleaned up, we're ready to go. It's about a quarter to ten. The plan today is to go around the north peninsula of Sumbawa. That's the peninsula where you have uh, Mount Tambora, which is an active volcano. I hope to get some sights around, I hope to get lots of uh, beautiful roads. Uh, the north part of the peninsula apparently has just been completed, so I'm not sure the state of the road yet, but we'll have a look. Um, I've had breakfast, so don't need to stop for that. However, I will need to refuel, and I don't know if I'll find a gas station around here with some petrol. So uh, I might have to get uh, the good old uh, Porta Botol, which is um, the bottles they sell on the side of the road. I hope I don't have to resort to that, but if I do, such is life. All right. So, um, if everything is fine, then without further ado, let's ride on. going to go around the peninsula. Let's ride on. Hello, Bu. Can you yeah? uh, um. you the Um... Uh, take a full rip. Take a full rip. Take a full rip. Dari Surabaya sekarang, asli dari Kanada. Uh, asli Kanada, tapi dari Surabaya. Saya tinggal di Surabaya. Oke, okay. mari mari ya.
Alright, we're at a place called Labuan Barat, which is near the uh, northern tip of the peninsula. I thought there might be some food here, but there isn't. So I'll just uh, start heading towards Kore and find a place to stop for lunch on the way. Hopefully we'll enjoy some nice views as well. Alright, let's ride on. Ya dengan sayur, ayam dan tahu ya. Ya, ya. Ya. Ada kerupuk? Kerupuk ada? Enggak ada. Enggak ada, oke. Sambal ya? Iya, sambal ya. Ya. Enak kalau ada. Ya, gimana? Ya bisa, bisa kok ya. Ya, ya. Lama ya di sudah 23 tahun Pak. 23 tahun. Di Surabaya, di Surabaya. Surabaya. Ya, sekarang asal dari oh, asal da da dari Kanada, dari Kanada. Iya, iya. Itu uh, ada air es uh, air dengan es batu ya? Ya. Oh, kalau enggak ada air air biasa saja. Ya, biasa. ya, ya, no no enggak apa-apa. Enggak apa. Ada di sana mau? No no, enggak apa-apa di sini. Enggak apa-apa. Ya. Ya, jua. Ini lah. Iya. Bagus ya. We got some nice shampoo over here. Ibu, ya. Ya. sudah berapa bu? Lima belas. ya. Ini terima kasih banyak bu ya. Yeah. 
các bạn So basically, um, this guy there tells me that the place is closed on Monday, so I can't even go check it out. So, I guess that's the way it goes. We're not going to check out this amazing waterfall. Taman Nacional Tambora Kawindat Toy. Well, don't come on a Sunday, on a Monday if you must. Uh, or you could go see the one down that I just went to earlier. Hmm. Let's just ride on. This road going along the west coast of that peninsula is quite nice but a bit patchier than the other one. You gotta be careful, there's some lots of patches of sand, lots of holes, gravel on the road. So it's not as safe as the one on the east coast. Uh, too bad, somewhere there there's Gunung Tambora, Mount Tambora. So it's too bad that uh, we can't see it because it's a bit cloudy. So yeah, if it wasn't for the clouds, we might be able to uh, see the mountain. It must be an amazing sight. Uh, nonetheless, we'll make our way down to Kore, which is a town um, basically in the south of the peninsula, and see if we can find a place to sleep over there. Uh, in the meantime, let's enjoy the ride, and let's hope that these clouds stay where they are. Yeah, It looks nice and bright over there, so hopefully we'll be fine. All right, let's ride on. By the way, the silence is almost deafening. It is so heavy. The odd bird, and that's it. Isn't there something, eh? You don't hear that too often in Surabaya.
Well, this is my little piece of heaven today. I hope I can pitch my tent so that I have time to go for a swim before nightfall. That would be amazing. All right, this is the setup. Not brilliant, but the tent will go somewhere here. Bit of a bump, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. All right, let's get this thing ready. Sorted. I got my camp already. fantastic I think I'm gonna go for a swim because hell I deserve it and look at that water it's so calm That was fun. Felt good as well. Looks like I found a great spot again. Um, very quiet. Uh, very beautiful. So uh, right now this is what it is. This is my camp. This is my view. And this is me saying if you enjoyed this please click like. Uh, subscribe to my channel. You can comment anything you want. And uh, I hope that we can meet on the road. And until we do, like they say around here, Sampai Jumpa Lagi. It just won't work for me, will it? Ah. I woke up with a big lump in my back. Turns out my mattress started leaking again. I was so happy that I managed to get it to work, but now I don't know if I'll be able to fix it. If it was in a regular spot, but just right on the scene, it's just so difficult. Uh, I slapped a bit more glue on it, letting it dry a bit, and I'll try to... I don't know if it'll dry before I need to get some sleep. And my cold's coming back, so not a happy camper. Not a happy camper right now. But the sky outside is beautiful. Lots of stars. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully this will work. Mattress did not last. Uh, the ground is lumpy. And very hard. Yeah, I put some more glue. I hope it sticks, but I'm afraid to blow it up because I'm afraid that it's too soon. I think they say it's got to dry for like 24 hours, which I'm not going to wait, <laughs> but I'm going to wait <laughs> at least a couple of hours. Uh, but I'm tired, I want to sleep, so I might just blow it up anyways. Hey, right, let's see what happens. Uh, I'll give it another hour. I got some stuff to look at anyway, so another hour and then if it doesn't work I'm sleeping on the hard ground again tonight. <sighs> Alright. Good night. Either I'll be sleeping 
<sighs> on a hard ground. Or are they sleeping <sighs> on a mattress? And I gotta find that out now. So here goes nothing. story it looks like the patchwork I did the other day worked fine what actually happened is that there's another hole just beside the first one right at the seam again so it looks like the glue that they use on these seams just isn't strong enough or whatever maybe the thing is too old so just two hours waited for nothing because apparently the hole was fine I didn't look I didn't imagine it would be another hole I imagined it came from the same one so, I'm trying a patchwork again. I mean, I'd rather do that and lose sleep trying to stay busy than not do it and lose sleep because I'm sleeping on the hard, bumpy ground. So, let's be confident. Uh, I applied some glue on these things. Let's hope it works out. So, another two hours or so. 